My dear Lucius, what news from Rome? Great preparations are being made for the Emperor's birthday. I'm returning to Rome to see the game. But we celebrate the birthday here, too, you know. Come, Gaius. Miss the games in Rome for the sake of those in Pompeii? And why not? There's no finer city in the whole empire than Pompeii. Always boasting you, Pompeii. The beauty of your women, the trading in your port, even the violence of your earthquakes. Stay here long enough and we'll make good our boast. What? Earthquakes and all? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Well, I hope we shall meet again before you leave. of 200. For the arena? Yes, I supply the arena with slaves and wild beasts. But he's more of a wild beast than... Beat him, flog him. Only don't spoil him for the arena. Beat a man held down by four soldiers? Get him on his feet. Marcus! What happened? Are you hurt? No, my sweet. Gaius Tano, I hope you're well. Well entertained. The Smiths should be in the arena. Did you ever consider fighting in the arena? No. I'm a man of peace. For a peace lobby or a handy fighter. That's different. I can fight if I have to. But I couldn't fight a man who never harmed me. Who could make money? Not that way. I have enough money. Well, of course. If you're a rich man, a few coppers wouldn't interest you. This is for your work. And this is for saving my life. Just about what the job is worth. <laughs> a man in chains. Going to his death like a caged animal. Makes a man count his blessings, Julia. Smith, you interest me. You said you had enough money. I never heard anyone say that before. I have a wife who loves me and a baby son. I work hard, eat hearty, and sleep sound. What more could I have? You remind me of an acrobat in the arena, walking on a rope stretched high in the air. Walking on a rope? Yes, a rope no wider than my thumb. <laughs> I'm not walking on a rope. Oh, yes, you are. Every poor man is. You think you're balanced nicely, but only money can make you safe. Some little unexpected thing, and you're down. Smashed. What does your wife think of your ideas? A woman is always ambitious for her son. I hope he will grow up to be exactly like his father. Idyllic, but impractical. Here, buy something for the young blacksmith. Marcus! A silver piece. What should we do with it? Let's go down to the marketplace. Don't you think we ought to save it? The tax gatherer is coming in a few days. I have the money put aside for him. Oh, this is a windfall. Let's have a holiday. We'll take the baby to see the puppet show. Oh, Marcus. He's only six months old. Well, he might like the puppets very much. 
How can you tell? I can tell you'd like them very much. My sweet. The richest man in the world can't have more than I have. They're between my hands. That's a very pretty picture. Good morning, neighbor. We've just declared a holiday. Gaius Tano gave us a silver piece. Gaius, the rich man. He's the first noble I ever spoke to. Get ready, Julia. I'm ready. What about the forge? If anyone comes, tell the Marcus is too rich to work today. Julia, how would you like to have some of that silk? Silk? To wear when I cook your dinner? Come along. Uh -oh. <laughs> how long before the baby will be able to do that? Oh, at least a week. Well, they can have a ball anyway. I thought we were going to the puppet show. Let's buy him a ball first. He's never had a toy. That ball, the white one. Oh, it's too big. Look, he couldn't even hold it. He likes it. How much? Son a silver piece. You just wait till tomorrow. Gaius will lend me the money. I'll give you till tonight, but not another hour. Ask your wife to stay with Julia. Are you mad or drunk? I can't let you in. It's life or death. It is to me, too. What do you suppose Gaius would do to me if I let you rush in on his guests? He'd have the skin off my back. But he was kind to me. I want only a little. I'm desperate. It may mean too life. Ah, last go, cheap and Pompey. Let me see Gaius. You start trouble here and you'll go to jail. Go to the arena if you want to fight. That's the only place where fighting pays. All right. You'll do. I'll be paid for this, won't I? You put up a good fight and please the audience. You'll get a gold piece or two. But remember, you've got to show them something. Understand? Now, get your sword and shield.
money. Marcus, my friend, too late. She never knew when the little son died. all I loved because I was poor. A year ago, a week ago, I could have saved them. All my life I've been a fool. Steady, Marcus. It cost me this to learn what the world is really like. Money is all that matters. Well, I can get money. It's easy to get money. All you have to do is kill. Who cares for a man? Who will listen to him? He'll listen to me. And who will care for you? No one! Well done, Marcus. A good fight. Best fighter in the Empire. Marcus! What a fighter! You remember me, don't you? You once saved my life. I don't save lives. <laughs> very good, very witty. But surely you haven't forgotten Cleon the slave dealer. In your forge, the Scythian prisoner would have killed me. I remember. I wonder why I stopped him. <laughs> I don't know why you should look down on me, my friend. Aren't we in the same business? We both furnish amusement for the people. I risk my life for the man I'm fighting. You buy and sell poor wretches to be slaughtered as a spectacle. I'm not proud of myself, but by Jupiter, compared to you, I'm a holy man. You'll never be an old one. It isn't brawn that survives, it's brain. Yes, it's well known that the rat lives longer than the lion. But who wants to be a rat? I wouldn't do your dirty work not to save my life. Did you see that backhand stroke of the wolf's? He nearly got me with it the first time. It's a good trick. Well, the wolf's done his last trick. Wonder if the cub knows any tricks yet. The cub? What are you talking about? Oh. 
Where's my father? Who is your father? The wall. Where is he? There's a question for you. <laughs> Maybe there's a special place for wolves to go. Take your dirty, grinning faces out of here. All of you, get out! Don't be frightened. I'm not frightened. I was just getting out of the way. Oh. Know what to do when the shouting begins, eh? Yes. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at home with your mother? Oh, my mother's dead. She died in Gaul. I was born in Gaul. Where did you live after that? With the Legion, the 21st. My father's the best fighter in the Legion. Why was he in the arena? Well, you see, he had a little trouble. It wasn't his fault. But he's going to win this fight, and then everything will be all right. What happens to people when they die? Don't you know? I know all about it, on account of my mother having died. You see, when people die, they go down to the river Styx, and there's a boat and a ferryman, and he takes them across the river to the underworld, where all the spirits are. Are there any soldiers of the Legion there? Oh, yes, lots of father's comrades. You're a soldier, son. You don't have to be baby and lied to. Your father is going to join those comrades. Across the river? And he went bravely. I'm sorry. <laughs> so afraid I'm going to cry, aren't you? I don't cry. He said he'd win this fight. And I could unbuckle the winner's sword. Do you don't want to unbuckle mine? such merchandise. Look at her, sweet as a child, an accomplished hairdresser, plays the harp. She's a real bargain. Does he scrub floors? Oh, greetings, lady. She's as good as the one I sold you three months ago. She'd better be stronger. It's disgusting the way they die off. Lady, this one has a tough eye. That's what you said about the last one. But lady, it's Marcus. Hail, champion. Greetings, Marcus. I'm betting on you tomorrow. <laughs> I see you're no gambler. Well, what can I do for you? A nice girl to delight the heart of a fighter? Nothing for me. I've come to buy a tutor for my son. By Mercury, I have the very thing for you. A Greek, speaks four languages. A scholar, kind and steady. Been in the same family for 20 years. Well, let's have a look at him. Where is he? There in the fourth pen. You go first and talk to him. See if you like him. Maybe he won't like me. <laughs> That's a good one. Hail, the Greek. Hail, Roman. My father sent me to see if I like you. Why? If I do, he'll buy you for me. Can you speak four languages? Yes. You know a lot of stories? Thousands. About soldiers and wars and fighting? Yes, but there are better stories. Well, you can tell me the ones you like. I don't mind. I like him, father. 
I remember you. You're the slave who said money doesn't matter. Buy me for your son. You served one family 20 years. Why are you here? I dropped my young master's cloak in the mud. I see. May I have him, father? How much? 300. What? Oh, he's a scholar. Well, I didn't know they cost that much. It's beyond my reach. But, Father, you said if I liked him. But we don't have that much money, Flavius. He says he knows lots of stories. Two hundred. Make it two fifty. Oh, Father. Two hundred and forty-three. Forty-three? That's all I have. Here it is. Oh, well. It's a bargain. Could you uh, lend me a couple of pieces? I'll pay you back after the games tomorrow. So money doesn't matter, eh? That tighten up, Master? Yes. Lee Astor. In these months since I bought you, have you noticed any difference in the way I fight? You seem to grow more careful, Master. You're right. When I'm out there fighting, I keep saying to myself, suppose I am killed. What will become of Flavius? So this is the great Marcus. Marcus is my name. Could you be Myrmex? Myrmex of Carthage. I'm going to win this fight, you know. I didn't know it was settled. I'll be wailing in your house tonight. The gods are on my side. Have you sacrificed to Mercury? Mithras is my god. Your mistake. Mercury is the god of braggers. <laughs> you talk too much. Come on and fight. said Marcus was good. <laughs> Next time, they'd better get me a real fighter. The truth, Lee Esther. Master, it will heal. But you fought in the arena for the last time. I was too careful. So the lion's day is over. Still, I don't envy the rat. You may, in days to come. I've looked forward to this. Do you remember you said you wouldn't do my dirty work? Not to save your life? I still say so. Will you say so when your son is hungry? Makes you wince, doesn't it? I always have work for men like you. If they're not squeamish. Well, let me know when you're ready to bring slaves from Libya. pay for dead slaves. You'll have plenty of trouble all the way back. They know they're going into the arena, and they'd as soon die on their way to it. I must have the full number, or Cleon won't pay me. Look here. Let me tell this man if he makes any more trouble, his son will go into the arena, too. All right. Tell them all. No can. No closer. Bela Michaela? Bala. 
You see? You'll have no more trouble with him now. Why, he was the fiercest of them all. Until he saw his son in danger. And a red one. Father, I'm so glad you're back. Sweet leech, young master. Father. He'll be sick. He better have some porridge. I don't like porridge. See that? Porridge. Truly? Certainly. All right. On my horse. your future master. I make my own future, mother. No one does that. I had no faith in Sue's theirs offered you. Well, my son, did you have a good day? Oh, yes. And I'd like to see the puppy show again. We'll get a favoring wind at moonrise, Marcus. Better get aboard early. I shall, Captain. Are you going away again, Father? Yes. I'm sailing tonight. Where are you going? To Judea. Bring back Arabian horses for the chariot races. I wish you wouldn't go so soon. This is an easy journey, just to buy horses. I'll make enough money to attempt something bigger. Bigger horses? Perhaps. Someday, we'll live in a big house, and you shall have a real horse. You'll never have a care in the world. I hate to leave him again. Marcus! I've searched the town for you. Men who work for me can't idle in wine shops. I've got orders to give you. Not to me. I made a contract on my own account. What? The money I've paid you, eh? Then you must let me in on it. Listen, little man. Someday you slave dealers will take orders from me. I'm going to be head of the arena. You? <laughs> Your fighting days are over. All you can do is brag. Think so? to be the head of the arena. Why not? Then like Cleon sit behind the scenes and grow rich in safety? Why shouldn't I get behind the scenes where the money is? You'd be responsible for the slaughter of helpless slaves. What's it matter, whether I do it or another? It would matter to your own conscience. A conscience in Pompeii? Ha! I know the world for what it is. I mean to get money and I don't care how. No. She's lying. Well, I didn't win, did I? Don't listen to her. Well, what does she mean? Keep out of this, you old witch. What's the trouble here? Before told I couldn't win. He's quite right. The dice are loaded. Oh, hey! You son of a name! You brave man! You noble warrior! <laughs> Give me that gun, honey, you cheat! Woman of my own race. Where does she live? The street of the Tanners. Show me the way. Come, Flavius. Young master. She needs porridge. Good night, mother. Come, Flavius. A kind man. I'm not kind. You try hard not to be, but I can see. I see a journey. You are going. Yes. It's the turning point in your life. You will be offered the choice between success and failure. Be sure you know which you are choosing. I shall know. And the son. Who is no son? How can she know that? She's like the wise women of ancient Greece. The child will meet with a great man. Where? In Judea. But my son isn't going with me. Take him. Take him to the man. The greatest man. Greater than anyone yet known. Greatest man in Judea. 
he will help the child when help is needed and his spirit will direct the child. Should I take him? She sees things that we can't, Master. A great man to help him, success for me. The ship won't sail without us, will it, Father? No. The ship is waiting to take us to Judea to find our fortunes. Saddle quickly. They'll be ready in a few minutes. But you better stay here in my inn tonight. No, I'm pushing on to Jerusalem. I have important business there. Well, it must be important if you go on in this storm. I'm taking my son to the greatest man in Judea. The greatest man in Judea? He's here. What? In there. Who is that man? The man you're looking for. The greatest man in Judea sleeping in a stable? He was born in a stable. Master, the horses are ready. Old man, I'm going to Jerusalem to see Pontius Pilate, the governor of Judea. He didn't believe me. Who would? He will, someday. Pontius Pilate, dispatch us from the eastern border. Dispatch us from the eastern border. The insolence of these desert tribes, and Herod encourages them. Would he dare, Excellency? He has dared. He encourages their raids and probably profits by them. This chief of the Ammonites, he'd never dare so much without Herod's secret help. Since Herod works against you secretly, can you not do the same to him? I would. If I could only find a man. Your Excellency, a horse dealer from Pompeii is waiting to see you. What? A horse dealer? He insists it's important. Huh. Who would be procurator of Judea? Riots and plots. The people against Rome, the people against each other. And if ever I do have a quiet moment, horse dealers come and clamor at my threshold. Who is he? What does he want? His name is Marcus. He used to be a gladiator. He was the champion. Marcus? Marcus the gladiator? Yes, I've heard of him. Trading in horses now. Thank you. Send him in. Well, what do you want? for Marcus, dealer from Pompeii, to cross the Jordan to buy horses. This is only a routine matter. Why? Your son, I suppose. Yes, Excellency. His name is Flavius. He's seven years old. He... Very interesting. My good man, what is all this? There's nothing important in this paper, yet you insist on seeing me. You bring a child and you... You both watch me as though you expected me to burst into flames. I'm sorry, Excellency. I thought it would do no harm to help the prophecy come true. Prophecy? What prophecy? It was prophesied that the greatest man in Judea would help my son. How could you help him if you didn't see him? Oh, I see. Uh, you're giving aid to the fates? If you want a thing well done, you must do it yourself. So even the fates need an overseer. <laughs> well, I've seen your son and I won't forget him. Little boy, sit down over there.
Let us not drive fate too hard. Tell me, is it true that you were once a champion fighter? Yes, Excellency. You know, Marcus, a man like you would be useful to someone who could employ him. Anyone can employ me for a price. Sit down, Marcus. Thank you, Excellency. So you came here to buy horses? Yes, Excellency. A pity to pay for them when they could be had for nothing. How? Oh. oh, just an idea. Unfortunately, it would require my help. Yes. And that in my official capacity, I could not give. Why not? It would make trouble for me. I detest trouble. There's a chief of the Ammonites who annoys me. The, uh, the horses I was speaking of belong to him. He has many fine horses, this Ammonite chief? Wonderful steeds. And this desert barbarian is rich. He has treasure. In gold? I believe so. Oh, not enough to make it worth Rome's while, but uh, a sum that you and I would be well content to share. Share? A sudden party, desperate men, led by the sort of man I think you are. I have no men to lead. The dungeons here are crowded with just the men for such a lawless enterprise. Well, the interview is ended. For Excellency. Goodbye. Oh, um, one thing more. It has been prophesied that four nights hence, a horse dealer will sleep at the inn in the village of Amman across the Jordan. Why, Excellency? Hmm? Not oh, merely a prophecy. I thought you believed in prophecies. I should believe in this one if I were you. I believe in you, Excellency. And not in my official capacity, please. As an official, I shall have forgotten you in an hour. As a private citizen, I shall look forward with interest to your return to Jerusalem. Goodbye. <laughs> Master, what are we waiting for? Why are we here now, man? Oh, don't worry me. Go in and see if Flavius is asleep. Yes, sir. dealer who believes in prophecies? What do you mean? I don't know what I mean. That's what I was told to say. Yes. I'm the horse dealer who believes in prophecies. Oh, you are, eh? Well, here we are. Who's we? Your men. All been in jail just long enough to be spoiling for a fight. If you think you're able to handle it, you better start in trying. How's that for a start? All right. I've got a lot more. Wait here. Master, don't wake Flavius. I'm leaving at once. Yes, Master. No, not you. When morning comes, take him back along the road we came. There's the village, the side of Jericho. Elia, it's called. Where we stayed with a woman who was good to Flavius. Yes, wait there. Yes, Master. that I owe you, everything I've promised. This venture means all that. The baggage. What do you need, Pierre Charlie? Nothing but my sword. Ready. Oh, this is my army. A fine lot of cutthroats and a 
fight, you'd all run like rats. It's a lie. We want a fight. Keep your mouth shut. I am talking. I was once Marcus the Gladiator. Now I'm your leader. If any man doubts that, speak up. We're going to raid the Ammonites. They have horses, you're on foot. They're fighters. I don't know what you are. But you'll come back riding or you won't come back at all. <laughs> These men don't want to go back to Jerusalem, do they? Well, they'd be safer in hell. They better scatter, then. They can keep the horses they're riding. What about me? What do I get before I leave? You're not leaving. Well, I can't go back to Jerusalem. <laughs> I know too many jailers there. You're going with me. To Jerusalem, and then to Pompeii. I'll fix it. You're a good man, Burbix. Nobody ever told me that before. Maybe useful is the word. You want to hear something really funny? Yes. I trust you. You can. You're in charge. I'll ride on ahead. I don't have to tell you to guard those pack horses well. Well, you don't think I'm a fool, do you? I know the loot's on them. All right. I'll see you in Aaliyah. What's so important in Aaliyah? A woman? No. A child. Rich, and it's only the beginning. Ask it. Where's Flavius? Flavius? Uh, master, don't. He can't hear. Why not? He, he... Flavius. It happened yesterday. The traveler was at the inn. His horse outside. Flavius mounted somehow. The horse took fright and threw him. He hasn't moved nor spoken since. This can't be. It can't be. Not again. I will not let it be. Such skill as I have in medicine is useless. Doctors! There are none nearer than Jerusalem. Then I'll ride to Jerusalem. Carry him before me. His heart is scarcely beating now. On such a ride, it would surely stop forever. Please. Please. I've brought you everything. Happiness, riches. It's all for you. There's a young man, a wandering healer, passing through the village on his way to Jerusalem. All the poor people call him master and lord. What can he do? Perhaps he can help. What harm to ask? Master, Lord, have mercy on my son. What does the teacher require of me? I'll give him as much money as he wants. He won't take money. Whatever a man can do, I'll do for him. There must be something. He's poor. Poor? He's the richest man in the world. He will come here from the judgment chamber as soon as the trial is over. I hope so. Two days lying hidden in this palace like a thief oh, is... Oh, please. 
like a confidential messenger. You may be glad I concealed you until Pontius could see you. Luckily, you've seen no one and no one has seen you. A messenger from Herod arrived last night. It seems the Ammonites were raided. Really? And Herod demands punishment of the guilty men. Well, then let me get out of town. Those horses we stole are... I sent those horses around the city to wait for me beyond the gates. My son and my old slave are with them. They won't know what's happened to me. Let me give Pontius my accounting of the treasure. You'll see him as soon as the trial's over. Whose trial is it? A man accused of treason. He wanted to be a king. Then be ye all witness to this. I am innocent of the blood of this just person. I have washed my hands of it. horse dealer, the successful journey, the treasure of the Ammonites was not overrated. Will you send for your secretary and see that I've divided fairly? There's no need. You won't cheat me. No, Excellency. You've done more for my son and me than any man can... Then any man can thank you for it. What have I done? What have I done? Excellency. I'm not myself. Just now, I have been forced to condemn someone. Poor man. I found no fault in him. But I must try to keep the peace. Violence. Unreason, my hatred. Oh, let men wallow in the quicksand they have made of life. Pin your faith to gold, Marcus. I chose it long ago. You're wise, now go. You must leave Jerusalem with your loot at once. Herod's messenger is here. I know. I haven't seen him yet. I'll contrive to delay him until you're out of reach. You've no time to lose. Thanks to you, I'll be a rich man someday. Take care. There's tumult in the city, crowds and rioting. Mobs quickly turn to looting. Guard your gold carefully, Marcus. After all I've done to get it, neither God nor man shall take it from me.
Take the horses, Bruce. I'll come last. You can't be saved. Save him. Who? The teacher. The master. He is condemned? Yes. Look. You said you'd do anything. You have a sword. They'll crucify him. What should I do? One man alone. You can die for him. Come on. You lose your treasure. Try to save him. When your world crumbles about you, you'll understand what you have done today. You have rejected him. rich. Now we can have that big house, the finest house in Pompeii. Damascus. What do you think of it, Leaster? I'm not a judge of swords, Master. Maybe this will be proud of this. A noble son couldn't have better. How much? Six thousand. What? Well, what is six thousand to the richest man in Pompeii? The head of the arena. <laughs> you old robber. Give him a note to Burbix. My money's in the strong room of my office at the arena. The whole town is looking forward to the games tomorrow, Marcus. It's going to be a good show. The new prefect wants to be popular with the citizens. My son is coming. Be off. Hey, Flavius. Greetings, Crassus. Good morning, Father. What's Crassus been selling you now? Oh, nothing much. Wait. Look at that. What a beauty. Draw it. Finest steel. Go on, try it. Feel the balance. What do you think of it? I never saw better. It's finer than any of your others. I'm glad you like it. It's for you. Thank you, Father. It's for a special occasion. A messenger came over this morning. What we were that an old friend of mine is stopping at Pompeii to see us. The ship should arrive in a few days. Who is it, Father? Man, I haven't seen in many years. He laid the foundation of our fortune. Do I know him? You saw him once, but you wouldn't remember. Where did I see him? What's his name? We were in Jerusalem. His name is Pontius Pilate. Could he be the man I'm always trying to remember? No, no, no. How many times have I told you that's only a childish dream? There never was such a man. Greetings, Marcus. Flavius. The new prefect is coming down to the quadrangle. He wants to see the preparations for the games. He's afraid we won't do him credit. He is, is he? I'll come at once. My cloak, the Esther. Uh, show Burbick your gift, my son. Aye, Jupiter, what steel? You could cut through chains with that. Could I? Well, you might, if you were fool enough to try. <laughs> I suppose there's no use asking you to come to the arena with me, Flavius. Well, Father, you know I... That's all right, my boy. I have bigger plans for you than following in my footsteps. Viesta, where's that cloak? Be sure to speak to the prefect about the slaves we need for the fight tomorrow. Of course. I was at the jail, and they've only a handful of condemned men. And one escaped on the way. Another runaway slave? Where do they go? If the prefect expects his games to do him credit, he'll have to get me the men. Father, must you have more men to kill? No, Flavius. We won't go over that again. We decided long ago to let that subject alone. Don't you fret about how I make my money, and I won't worry about how you spend it. 
Those horses for tomorrow. You made a good deal. I was always good at a horse deal. Remember the first one I helped you with? <laughs> you see, it's useless. You'll never listen to me. He'll never change. Come, help me to get ready. Claudia will be wondering what's become of me. The Aster. I've got a ship at last. The day for action is almost here. If only the danger for you were not so great. Only one thing worries me. Are you sure that island is still free? I am. There's no wealth, no people to enslave. No Roman soldier has ever set foot on it. An unspoiled world. When we go, come with us. Marcus will be glad of me after you're gone. If only I could tell him the truth. He'd smash the whole thing. But I can't let him. Come. I'll make sure the way is clear. see you. We've missed you. What's kept me away, do you think? Great news. I have a ship. For us? To escape to the island? Yes. Some night soon you can reach the waterfront in twos and threes, unnoticed. How soon? After the games are over. The search will be relaxed. They won't need slaves for the arena then. And before anyone knows what cargo the ship carries, we'll be beyond their reach. You've saved us from torture and death. You've hidden us here, kept us fed and clothed, given us hope. But do you really believe that there's any place where runaway slaves can be safe? But I know the place. That's where I'm taking you. Where Rome cannot reach us? Rome owns the world. This island is forgotten by the Empire. The man who brought me up told me where it is. I'll lead you there. Have faith in me. Yes, friend. You know, I haven't seen Claudia for two whole days. It's been so long. Soon we'll be together forever. Is it really true? Yes. I won't be hiding and trembling at every sound. I'll be free. Except for me. It seems so strange. You risked his grace and death to help us. But none of us know who you are. I'm a man who loves you. Isn't that enough? I suppose it is, since you're the man I love. Why do you do all this for slaves? Claudia, did you ever try to recapture a dream? A dream? It's like a strain of music I can almost remember. Mm. And yet it slips away. I've been haunted by it since I was a child. But what is it? It was a voice. I can't hear the words, but I can see a man's face. He looks as though he pitied the whole blind and suffering world. As though he knew the world could be so brave and beautiful. That men could help each other to live and be happy. That's not a child's dream. My father says there was no such man. But even if it is only a dream, I believe that such a world could be. On our island, we'll try to make it true. There will be no more slavery, nor flogging and torture and agony. Who's there? I know him. His he, name is Drusus. He's been flogged. Drusus? He was running. Soldiers may be on his heels. Could they have followed you here? No. I threw them off. They're gone. North. Why did you run away? They said I was a thief. I was condemned to the arena. I never stole. But Marcus needs slaves. 
the games tomorrow. Marcus the Butcher. Excellency, why can't your soldiers capture these runaway slaves? Singular that so many have been able to avoid capture. Someone is helping them. What fool would risk death by torture for the sake of slaves? I should like to know. Well, what do you keep behind those locks and bolts? My fortune, Excellency. It's a safe place. Would the prefect care to inspect the barbarians? Oh, the Britons who are to fight tomorrow. Yes, captives from Agricola's campaign. I wonder why we Romans trouble ourselves with that wretched island. After it's conquered, what good is it? Don't you believe we can ever civilize the Britons? Those people, they'll always be barbarians. What will they ever do? Here's a savage fellow. A sort of chief, they tell me. He looks capable of fighting 20 men. Well, there you are. What will the battle look like if I have only a handful of slaves to fight these men? Take care of that. Throw some water on him. These Britons don't know how to use their fists. Your pardon, Excellency. Well? The ship with Pontius aboard has dropped anchor in the harbor. What? Order the galley to be made ready at once. Your pardon. Pontius Pilate has arrived sooner than expected. I must go out to the ship and bring him ashore. Pontius? He's a very distinguished man. I've never met him. Give me the pleasure of dining with us today. To meet Pontius? Thank you, I will. Whatever the motive, you still will give me pleasure. Welcome to my house, Pontius. I've looked forward to this day for many years. The house of Marcus. Well established, founded upon a rock. I'm glad. You founded it. Now, where's my protege? Where's Flavius? I sent a messenger to look for him in the town. I wish you could stay for the games tomorrow. The Emperor's orders I must go on to Rome tonight. Uh, this, uh, this prefect who asked himself to dinner, uh, what sort of man is he? Just a prefect. You know, great idea of his own importance. <laughs> Come. You must rest and bathe before we dine. They fought each other. <laughs> Have you ever heard better stories than our host tells? I'm not a judge of the reminiscences of self-made men. You flatter me. It's not my work. Pontius is responsible. I? Nonsense. All that I am, you made me. Then I'm a good workman. Don't you agree, Alice Marshall? Oh, assuredly, Pontius. Ah, uh, fine specimens. They should look well in the arena. Hmm, the arena. Do you realize that tomorrow's games may be a failure? They're my games, you know. I'll take the responsibility. You must, Excellency. It's your soldiers that must capture the runaways. Have the goodness to allow me to attend to it. Fine grapes grow in your vineyard, Marcus. It's good to taste again the fruits of Italy. Gods are propitious. Your son doesn't even arrive in time for the family worship. I hardly know how to apologize. I arrived before I was expected. How was the boy to know? Where can he be? What is it, Viesta? Captain of the city guard with a message for the prefect. He says the prefect gave orders to follow him here. Where is he? I sent him around to the terrace, Excellency. You will excuse me? It may be interesting news to you, too. I hope so. Where is Flavius? He came in a few moments ago, Master. He's changing his clothes. Tell him to hurry. I can hardly wait to tell him he's going to Rome with you. May we have a favorable wind tonight. Last time I saw you, all you owned was carried by a few pack horses, but you haven't changed. Looking at you, I fancy myself back in Jerusalem. 
on that day years ago, when you hurried out of the city with your treasure, I can hear you say, neither God nor man shall take it from me. How can you remember my very words? I seem to remember everything about that day. Things that happened only yesterday are not so vivid. Pontius, this is my son. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I didn't know you'd arrived. I'm glad to see you, Flavius. I suppose you don't remember me. Yes, I remember you. But there's something else I'd hoped to remember. Come with us to the terrace, Pontius, while I tell him the news. The last time I saw you, I couldn't have leaned upon you. Not very comfortably. Very good, Excellency. Pontius, I must take my leave of you. I'm honored by our meeting. Good night, Alice Marcus. Marcus, good night. My soldiers are better than you think. These are the runaways. They've caught a slave who knows the hiding place. Don't worry about the fight tomorrow. I'll make him speak. We'll catch them before dawn. Splendid. Now, Flavius. Father. Father, I must. Francis has gratified the greatest wish of my life. He's going to take you with him to Rome. Rome? You can be a great man, my son. Sponsored by an aristocrat. All the money you can spend. But there's every chance you may be made a noble. But father... Everything I've ever hoped for you is within your grasp. Leave for Rome tonight. No. Listen to me, father. There's no way I can spare you. I'm not going to Rome. I'm not going to do any of the things you've chosen for me. What do you mean? You're making plans for me to be a noble, like the smiling prefect, I suppose. He's gone to torture a man to make him betray his fellows. Heartless swine. Silence. Shall I keep silent forever in the face of injustice and brutality? The poor, the persecuted, there must be someone to speak for them. Take the world as it is. I can't. I, I know there's something better. My boy, I've heard such ideas a long time ago. They are dreams. Beautiful dreams, I know. But only dreams. Was it a dream that once I knew a man of pity who said, you shall love your neighbor as yourself? There never was such a man, I tell you. you. Don't lie to him, Marcus. There was such a man. What happened to him? I crucified him. Now I remember. The cross is on the hill. I know now what he meant. That man accomplished nothing but his own death. His teachings will never die. Have you ever heard what else that man said? Sell all you have and give to the poor. Where would you be if I'd listened to his teaching? You'd be a laborer, sweating all day for a few coppers as I did when I was young and foolish. I've done everything I could to spare you the sorrows of the poor. You're a rich man's son with a fine house and slaves to wait on you. You've had everything that money has to offer. I made that money for you. I know you did, but I won't benefit by it any longer. Don't want my money. What do you have to give the poor? Myself. Flavius, come back here. No, no, Marcus. Let him go now. Why did you tell him his dream was real? For years, I've tried to blot that memory from his mind. And from your own, too, haven't you? You can't. I know. Master. Galley is waiting to go off to the ship. Come see me aboard, Marcus. Ah, don't let this make a breach between you. And remember, when the boy sees reason again, send him to me in Rome, just the same. He's young. He still believes in things. And you and I are wiser, perhaps. What is truth? But who is this friend? Who in Pompeii would help slaves? We don't know. But he's the man who'll save us. Friend, what's happening? Quick! Ask me The prefect soldiers have got a slave who knows this place. They're torturing him. He'll tell. What shall we do? Scatter and try to reach the ship. It's our only chance. 
Hurry! He's a spy! Stop! He's a spy, I tell you! This is our leader, our friend! Friend! That's Flavius, the son of Marcus! So You're raving! Drusus, listen! He's Flavius, I tell you! You're mistaken! I've seen him with his father, the man who sent us to the arena! Deny it! He's the son of Marcus the Butcher! He can't deny it! Can you? Friend! I am Flavius, son of Marcus. We're lost! Marcus, 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 let me quit with you! Let me try! Listen, traitor! Listen to me! Clodia, am I a spy? Do you believe it? No. He's not a spy. Phoebus, he saved your life. Yes? The palace, he brought you here himself. I know. Sula, you know the penalty for helping slaves escape? He's risked his life every day. How can he be a traitor? Don't believe him! Filthy spy! Listen to me. No torture could make me betray you. I'm no longer the son of Marcus. I'm one of you now. We'll escape together. The ship is ready. Tomorrow we'll be free. time you started. Yes. See how Vesuvius is smoking. The old mountain hasn't looked like that in the memory of man. A special portent for your games, Master. I quarreled with Flavius last night, the Aster. I should have reasoned with him, not lost my temper. I was too hasty. I want to tell him so. Send him to me. He's not here. Gone out already? Where? I... I don't know. When did he go? Master, I... His bed is undisturbed. He must have left the house last night. And not come back? Not yet. It's not possible he'd leave like that. Something may have happened. No. He thinks I'm still in a rage. That's it, Lee Astor. He's giving me a chance to cool down. He'll be back. Marcus! Marcus! Good news. A message from the prefect. The whole company of runaway slaves was captured last night. They tried to escape by the sea. How many? About two score. Here's a real stroke of luck. Pompey will see something today. This will be a real show. Master! Well, this has more meaning than old Vesuvius smoking. Plus, they're all good fighting men. A fine, hardy luck, the message said. Good. Who are the captured ones? Who? You don't suppose I know their names, do you? That's yes, sir. What am I carrying? Rejoice today. The omens are all good. Jupiter is pleased and favors you, his people of Pompeii. Happy the people for whom the great prefect provides such games. Be not afraid of God's or man's displeasure. Today is yours. On to the game! Hail, Titus! Marcus! Have you heard of the capture of the runaway slaves? Of course. Fortune favors us. Don't be late for the games. So this is where your leader brought us. Into a trap. I'm trapped as well as you. Still pretending to be one of us. Your father knows you're here. He'll be released. Yes. He'll sit and watch us die. I tell you, no one knows I'm here. You'll believe me when I stand beside you in the arena. Uh, uh, Take the women out. No. Come, I tell you. No, I'll stay with him. The men are going to the arena. What good are women in a battle? Go, Claudia. Don't make me leave you. Remember this. If we had a lifetime together, I couldn't love you more. What's the trouble? Come on.
I see it's not the custom in Pompeii to applaud the prefect. That's only because they don't know you yet. cost too much? Oh, no, Excellency. It's spontaneous. How pleasant for you. Well, what is it? Master Flavius. What's happened? He's there with the captured slaves. They caught him helping them escape. What? My reckless folly. Why, it's a capital crime. It's the death penalty. The law of Rome. <laughs> Your indulgence, Excellency. Well? Is everything ready to begin? There is some difficulty. If you'll have patience for a few moments, I'll return at once. Master. I'll get him out. These men must die. It's the law of Rome that condemns them. It condemns me, too. Goodbye, Father. No. The water shall release you. Why doesn't Marcus return? Really, old Marcus. This is a poor way to gain the favor of the people. I can't understand the reason for this delay. I came to see fighting. Is Marcus trying to make a fool of him? He takes too much upon himself. Give the signal for the slaves to be driven out. Let the games begin. Did he get here? Don't waste time. Release him. We shall have a hundred gold pieces. These men are numbered. If one is missing... Five hundred gold pieces. I can't. A thousand. Release him, I say. He's my son. I have a son, too. I can't risk my life. I'm head of the arena. I order you. Release him. I dare not. Your turn next. Quick. March. Forgive me. Stop! You there, stop! What? Don't take my son! Are you crazy? I'm Marcus, head of the arena. Leave my son where he is! I don't take orders from you! That's my son! There, that one! Don't take him! I'll stop the game! No one but the prefect can stop the game! The prefect says the men who fight well and come out alive will be set free! Tell him so! Send back along! Rakushkin You believe me now? Stop the game! Are you mad? My son is there, there among the slaves. Why is he there? He was captured with the others. Helping them to escape? He's reckless, he's young. Stop them! He's committed a crime struck at Rome itself. He's my son. So at your command, the law of Rome should be set aside. He will be killed! My son! If he were my own son, I could not do it. People of Pompeii! I am the of you! My son is there!
my son go free. Marcus, Marcus, have mercy on my son. Have mercy on your... I cried that once. And he heard me. Unload that boat! 
Ago, 